Hello, my name is Don Saito from ERP Efficiency Experts, and today I am going to give a demo of the CRM functionality in Business Central. So you can see at the top of your screen you have a few menu items here, for example, contacts, opportunities, sales quotes, sales orders, customers, items, and so on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go through this role center. This is called a role center because when you log in, your role in the company, let's assume it's in sales, this is what you would see as your dashboard. So it's called your role center. Here we can see uh, some customer insights or insights uh, that are coming in here. It says our top customer was a Datum Corporation. And if I click this little button here, I can see some other messages that just says good evening. Over here on the Actions tab, you can see different actions that you can undertake. For example, I can create a new sales quote, a new sales order. Anytime you see this plus symbol, that basically means to create something new. All right, and then scrolling down a little bit here, we can see activities. We have contacts. These blue boxes or teal colored boxes are called Qs, C-U-E-S. And when I click on these, I will be able to see more data. So here I have, for example, 17 different contacts, which happen to be companies, and I also have 10 contacts that are people or persons. So by clicking onto these Q boxes, I will be able to see all of those contacts, and I can click on this and drill down further to see more information about that contact. All right, if I want to go back to my role center, I'm just gonna click the back arrow button on my browser. And let's take a look here. We have opportunities. So here we have some open opportunities. Let me go ahead and define the term opportunities here. So opportunity from a sales point of view is a chance or opportunity to make a sale or to close a sale. So you can create and track your opportunities. Here I can see I have eight open opportunities. There's uh, opportunities due in seven days. We have two of those. And then we have some overdue opportunities where perhaps we expected to close them a bit sooner, but now they're late. And then here we can see any closed opportunities. On the sales tab here, we can see open sales quotes, open sales orders. Again, I'm able to drill down into that and I can see the actual orders in here and I can click into it and open up the actual order. All right, down here you have user tasks. So here you can assign yourself a task uh, so you don't forget. It will always show up here. I don't have any tasks right now, so I'm all good to go. You can also create tasks for other users. So if you're a manager, you can create a task for uh, one of your uh, resources or so on. Approvals within Business Central, you have a full workflow system that's built in. So you can have approvals for various types of activities. Uh, for example, approving purchase orders, approving the creation of a vendor, approving the creation of a customer, and so on. Then here on the self-service section, we have a section for timesheets. So if this is something that your company wants to track within Business Central, you have the ability to track time and go through a submittal process and an approval process. Down here on the Insights tab, we have a sales pipeline, and you can have unlimited different types of sales pipelines. This one here says for existing customers, this is what we would go through uh, as far as a sales cycle. So there would be an initial contact, there would be some sort of presentation, a proposal, and hopefully at the end of that, you're signing a contract. So when I'm hovering my mouse over these various stages, you can see there's a number of opportunities in the presentation stage, there's four of those. In the proposal stage, there's four of those. Again, you can click down into this and you can drill down into the actual opportunity and take a look at it. All right, let's go back here. Here we have a opportunities pie chart and you can see by salesperson how many opportunities each salesperson is managing at the current time. And again, as you hover, you will see more information with the drill down capability. Scrolling down a little bit further, we have the top five opportunities that are going on right now, and you can see the dollar amount, and you can see this graph here. 
We also have hooked this up to Power BI. This is optional. You can subscribe to Power BI. It's fairly inexpensive per user and you can create your own visualizations of your data. So for example, here is an example estimated value by customer. So this is sales. Down further, we have the report inbox. Here you can schedule reports to print at a certain time, maybe in the evening. And when you come in the morning, those reports will show up in your inbox. So you can schedule most reports uh, in the system to show up in your inbox. So that covers the basic role center for the sales and relationship manager role. This is for CRM for Business Central. So now we'll show a few functions within Business Central uh, from the CRM module. So the first thing I want to look at is a contact. So we'll go ahead and open up a contact and we'll just go ahead and look at this one here. So you can see that there is a show more button over here on the right corner. And here you have your number, name, the company, and we can assign a salesperson to that particular company. And if I scroll down here, you can have the name, address, contact information. Off to the right, we have the ability to put pictures in here if we want. Um, we can have attachments. So if you have a PDF or Word document, Excel document, contracts, whatever, those can be attached here. And then below you have some statistics that you can see that's related to that particular contact. All right, now let's go and take a look at a, another type of contact. We'll go into contacts and we'll choose persons. So a person can work for another company. Uh, so for example, here's Robert Towns and he works for a datum corporation. He is set up as a person versus a company. And here you can assign that person to a salesperson. And here again, you see the address and contact information. From a contact, you can do various activities. I click the process button here. I can create a sales quote straight from here. Um, I can also go to more options and carry out various actions. So for example, I could create an opportunity Let's go ahead and do that. And let's say we have an opportunity for a potential sales. So I'll say potential sales, uh, $1 million. Here I can assign the salesperson that's in charge of this particular prospect. So I'll go ahead and select AH and I can click show more here to see a little more information. Down here we have the sales cycle stages. So we can define a particular sales cycle for a particular opportunity. In this case, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and activate the first stage of this opportunity. It's going to ask me, would I like to activate the first stage? I'll say yes. And if you notice, a line has been added here for the initial contact. All right, certain information has populated here, um, percent complete, chances of success, probability, and so on. Um, this information will of course change as we get further and further along in the sales cycle. Now what I can do is I can update this opportunity. So I'll go ahead and say update. The next action comes up here is I'm going to go to the next stage, which is qualifying prospect. And here I can put in the date, uh, the estimated sales value, let's say it's 1 million. Make sure I have the right number of zeros there. Chances of success, let's say 20%, that's fine. Estimated closing date, I'll pick some date in the future. And I will click OK. When I do that, I can see that we have the next stage, which is the qualification stage. We have an estimated value and so on. OK, as we go through uh, contacting our prospect, uh, as we move through the sales cycle, we'll be able to do another update here. And the next stage is the presentation. So we're going to do a presentation. Let's say that will be April 20th. And the sales value is still 1 million. Uh, perhaps our chances of success have gone up a little bit. And our estimated closing date, we'll just say that's the 29th of May. 
So now that we have qualified the prospect, let's go ahead and create a sales quote and send it to this prospect. So I will click the create sales quote button here. And it has filled in the customer name uh, for us. I can put in a requested delivery date if I wish. Let's say May 28th. And down here on the lines, I can go ahead and select what I am attempting to sell uh, to our prospect here. So I can choose an item, for example. It could be an inventory item. I could choose a service, uh, et cetera. So let's go ahead and choose uh, some conference tables. And we'll just do like a thousand of those. And that's 686,000, that's pretty good. Now let's do some desks. And let's do, let's say 300 of those. Okay, so we're close to our $1 million. Uh, with tax, we are within the $1 million. So we'll go ahead and, and stop there on this particular quote. At this point, I can do various things with this quote, such as I could send it by email, for example. I will just print it so you can see what it would look like. Now, when I print this out, I can print it to a printer, PDF document, for example. Let's open that up. And here's my quote. And we can see here we've got our subtotal, our tax, and so on. All right, so back to our sales quote. We've sent that out to our prospect. Uh, let's go on back to our opportunity and see where we left off. So now we have our qualification. Let's move on to the next stage. By the way, these menu items, if you notice when you click onto a different tab here or you click off the tab, it disappears. You can keep that on your screen by clicking this pin here. And now if I click on to the screen, um, this menu selection will stay here. All right, let's go ahead and update our opportunity. The next stage is a presentation. And let's do that. Uh, sure, let's pick a day here. All right, so if you notice our estimated sales value has now changed because it is based on the sales quote that we just created, our chances of success. Let's go ahead and just bump that up a little bit. These are kind of arbitrary. We're just guesstimating what our chances are at this point. And let's go ahead and choose our closing date and assume it's still the 29th of May. So we've done our presentation. And we're going to go ahead and just close this deal at this point. All right, so at this point, we have won the deal. Now we're going to indicate a reason why we closed the deal. Was it knowledge of customer business? Was it a competent consultant? Let's go ahead and say knowledge of customer business. And our closing date. I'll just pick a date here. And there's our sales dollar amount. And if there were any old tasks that were related to this opportunity, those could be canceled. I don't have any outstanding, so I'm just gonna click OK. All right, so this deal has been won. Now what I might wanna do at this point is convert that quote into an actual order. So I will go to the sales quote. I'm looking it over here, everything looks great. And I will go ahead and turn this into an order by using the make order button and convert that to an order. It says the quote has been converted. Well, that gives you a taste of the CRM functionality in Business Central. There is a lot more to it than this. This gives you an idea of how to create an opportunity, uh, track that opportunity, turn it into a quote, close the deal, and turn it eventually into a sales order. Thank you very much for your time.